Hello, in this video I'm getting a P0171 check engine light code. This indicates that the car is running lean, meaning that the mixture of air and fuel is not correct and lower amounts of fuel is going into the engine. Because of the P0171 code, in this video I will replace the O2 sensor. The reason I decided to replace the O2 sensor is because when troubleshooting the car I saw that the O2 sensor was not changing voltage values. I used a scan tool to see the live data of the sensors. I saw that sensor number one was working and doing its thing. But when I looked at sensor number two on the scan tool, it was just still and not changing any values. There can be other issues as to why the values are not changing on the O2 sensor. It could be wiring issues causing this, but I decided to just go for it without che checking much and replace the number two O2 sensor, which is the sensor after the catalytic converter. It is also possible to check the O2 sensor outside of the car by heating up the O2 sensor and see if it's within specs. But there can be pros and cons to this test. If the O2 sensor is intermittently working where it only works sometimes, testing the O2 sensor could be misleading. I don't want to count out this test, but I just want to point out that, that there can be cons to this test. All right, let's get started on the video and start the replacement. Just wanted to show real quick the number one sensor which is located here. The sensor is located closest to the exhaust manifold. This is the number two sensor and this is the sensor that we will be replacing. Before starting to remove the sensor, you can apply some penetrating fluid if needed. Sometimes the O2 sensor is tough to remove and so the penetrating fluid might make it more easier to remove. To remove the sensor, remove this cover here. I used a screwdriver to help me remove it. I disconnected the connector of the sensor before removing the sensor with the socket and ratchet. The connector is located inside of the car in the passenger side underneath the carpet. There are two fasteners holding down the carpet. I pull out the wire and disconnected the connector before fully removing the sensor. I pull out the wire from underneath the car and continued on removing the sensor with a 22 millimeter socket. After the sensor was removed, I wiped down the area with a rag to remove any excess penetrating fluid. Here is the new sensor ready to be installed. Don't forget to add some anti-seize compound on the threads of the sensor. I also tighten the sensor first before connecting the connector inside of the car. When installing everything back, everything should be straightforward. It's just the opposite of removing the sensor. I 
know that central location can vary among different cars, but almost all cars that use the traditional gasoline engine will have a similar layout. Maybe the sensor might have a connector connected differently to the sensor, or the sensor is in a slightly different area. But in general, the sensors will be in somewhat similar locations. I also hope that this video may help you in your troubleshooting. Using a scan tool to see if a sensor is working can help narrow down the issue. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this video helps you out.